Hello and welcome. My name is David Smart, and I'd like to show you how to make your own free online crossword puzzles. One of my favorites is Eclipse Crossword. You could find it easily enough by going to www.eclipsecrossword.com. I highly recommend that you go to their website to download their software. Like I said, it's easy, it's fast, and it's certainly free. Once you get there, you go to the download tab. One thing to note is that um, Eclipse Crossword is not available on, for Mac. All right, once you get to that page, you can simply click on the Download Eclipse Crossword. Okay, you've successfully downloaded and installed the program. It's time to launch. The first page you'll see is the Welcome to the Eclipse Crossword Puzzle Creation Wizard. And by default, we'll choose I would like to start a new crossword. Perhaps in future videos, we'll talk about what you can do with existing crosswords. But for now, let's just click Next. The first step is to create a word list. Again, since we don't have an existing crossword puzzle, let's go with Let me create a word list from scratch now and simply click Next. Here's where you enter in the words that you want your students to guess. For example, I want my students to show me that they know the word conveniences. So I simply type it in. Because they won't see the word, I need to give them a clue. So I'm going to write some things that make life easier. So this is what the student would see, and this is what they have to type in into the crossword to be correct. All I have to do now is click Add Word to List. And as you can see, the word conveniences is showed up in my word list. To save time, I'm simply going to put in all the words from my word list right away. OK, as you can see, there's my word list. If I want to get rid of a word, I can simply click on that word and get rid of the word by clicking Remove Word. And there it is. We're down to eight words. I recommend that you use at least eight to 12 words for each crossword puzzle. Too few, and the students might not be learning very much. Too many, and they may get frustrated. Anyways, let's click Next. Since I did make a change, I'm getting this on my screen, but you won't see this. So I'll just ignore that for now. Here's my vocab list. I'll just save it, replace it. This is what you'll see. Step four, name this crossword puzzle. So type in a name. I'm going to say NS4. And your name, and click Next. The next thing you'll have to do is type in how many uh, letters wide and tall you want your crossword. I recommend going a little larger than the largest word that you have in your puzzle. Since 12 words is as small as I can get, I'm going to go with 15 and click Next. And there you have it. This is what the student would see uh, once all the words are filled in. To publish, simply click Next. There are many different ways you can do this, but since I like to make these crossword puzzles available online, I click on Save as a Web Page, Interact with JavaScript, and there you go. I have some pre-existing files, but you'll create your own one. So whatever you call it, creates an HTML. It'll give you a test right away. This page will fail, but there's your crossword puzzle. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to post it or share it. With so now students. you need a safe place to keep your file. I created a folder called Vocabulary Activity, and I just simply right-clicked, upload the file, and I chose the file. Click Open, and it'll bring the file into your folder. Simply click on that, and it'll give you basically the link that you can share with your students. And there it is. Okay. If you want to share it via email, Google+, or on Blackboard, simply copy that file and post it where you want. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions or suggestions, please don't hesitate to either email me or post at the bottom of this video. Thank you.